And now your weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. After back-to-back -back days with highs in the 80s, temperatures this afternoon running about 10 degrees cooler than what we saw yesterday. And that cooler weather is here to stay. Here's a look at the next seven days. Highs tomorrow only in the lower to mid 60s. We'll see upper 50s to lower 60s on Thursday. We'll then warm up a little bit as we head into this upcoming weekend with upper 60s to lower 70s returning, but obviously no 80s headed our way anytime soon. Right now we have one spot that is still in the 70s. That's Fond du Lac coming in at 71. Everybody else is in the lower or mid or upper 60s. We had a lot of clouds across the area this morning, but this evening the clouds have started to break up and we're now looking at a lot of sunshine across most of northeast Wisconsin. A strong cold front moved through last night with those thunderstorms behind it. High pressure is building in from the west and as that area of high pressure builds in, we're going to continue to see some cooler than normal temperatures. 57 in Marquette today, 63 in in International Falls, the clockwise flow around that area of high pressure is going to continue to produce a north and northeast wind as we head throughout the night and into tomorrow. In fact, we're going to be looking at gusty northeast winds at times over 30 miles per hour for the middle part of the week. Now, tomorrow is the first day of fall. The autumnal equinox occurs at 221 p.m. and the first day of fall, as I just showed you, is going to feel like fall with highs only in the lower to mid 60s. The normal high temperature tomorrow drops down to 69 degrees. We'll see a mixture of clouds and sunshine with an emphasis on sunshine tomorrow. But as we head into Thursday, we're going to watch a system kind of back in from the east, producing clouds and some rain or showers as we move to the late morning and afternoon where we have rain during the middle of the afternoon. Temperatures probably only in the lower to mid 50s for highs. Meanwhile, out to the west with a mixture of sun and clouds, it looks like lower to mid 60s. So your forecast for tonight calls for clearing skies. It's going to be a bit breezy. Overnight lows will be in the lower to mid 40s, so there will be a wind chill factor that makes it feel like the mid to upper 30s by tomorrow morning. Welcome to fall. Tomorrow, lots of sunshine mixing with a few clouds. It's going to be windy and cooler. High temperatures only in the mid 60s, our coolest day in quite some time. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 65. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to feed and clothe my people. And we did that today. I forecast 70. The actual high temperature was 71 degrees. On Thursday, sun and clouds west, rain east. How far that rain pushes west, still kind of up in the air right now, but I'd be prepared for some rain from the Fox Valley towards the lake show on Thursday. It's going to be windy. Upper 50s to lower 60s for many locations. Maybe a shower on Friday with a cold front. An isolated shower is possible late Saturday. And then some pleasant conditions as we move into early next week with highs in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Are those lows low enough to get rid of the mosquitoes? That's all I want to no, know. not yet. Not yet. So yeah, there could be some frost at times across northern Wisconsin over the next seven days. Maybe we'll get our chance next week. We'll have to wait and see. Thank you. <laughs> After the break, you can still enjoy the festivities.